Hey guys, Brady here, and I just got through um, a few retakes, but hey, let's get to the video. This is a video that I um, am incredibly late to the party on, but hey, I'm late to the party on literally everything. So, Christmas is over. Many days have passed since Christmas is, um, was over. I promised you guys that I was gonna make a, what I got for Christmas video in December, but nah, that didn't happen. <laughs> Funny thing, my, um, 2019, uh, Christmas video, um, was, uh, delayed to, uh, January 3rd, so, let's delay this one to January 6th, um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys had a happy holidays, um, so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What I Got for Christmas. Now, rem now remember last year when I said, in the description of my old vi um of my 2019 Christmas video, I said, "Let's make 2020 count." Boy, did we not make this year count! The virus, the election, the whole passing of many people, Alex Trebuck, Chadwick Bos i don't know—but um, Jeopardy dude, um, let's not discuss that. I don't want to make anybody. I don't want to make anybody st um, sad. So, because my channel is um, not a sad channel. Like, we're, let's talk about something depressing or whatever. But um, we're going to do my What I Got for Christmas video. Now, remember how I did the 2019 video where I did one video doing the games and one video doing the movies? Well, this year, I... Well, this year and probably the following years, I am going to do both of them in one video. It's going to be very long. It's going to be a very long video. So, let's start with the films. Um, so, my uncle uh, requested me to do this movie, to watch this movie. And, uh, does anybody know Big Lebowski? Um, starring... The lovely Jeff Bridges and John Goodman uh, as um, the dude, um, uh, aka Jeff Le Jeffrey Lebowski. Um, I've heard everybody talk about this. I've heard my uncle talk about this. I've heard the Nostalgia Critic talk about this many times in his videos, praising it for how good it is. And now I could finally watch it on Blu-ray. Yahoo! Hey guys, remember this movie? Does this movie look familiar to you guys? Because if it does, then you're a longtime fan of my channel. This is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I made sure to get it on Blu-ray for my collection. So, um, now I finally have it in physical form. I don't have to rely on Netflix anymore. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Um, but still. Uh, this is... Like I said, this is um this is the first movie I ever reviewed, so this is kind of a momentous um, uh collectible, especially for my channel. Now um I originally wanted to get just Spider Man Far From Home, but um someone or Santa or somebody sent me Spider Man Far From Home and Homecoming in a two pack, even though I already have um uh Homecoming in a separate Blu Ray that I believe I got. Christmas of 2018, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that for now, all right, two more, um, now, my dad has been telling me, you know how I have a ton of actor-specific collections, you know, like, uh, what do I have, I have, um, the, uh, what, actor collections are all over the place, right, there's a three, three-in-one collection, four-in-one collection, and sometimes five-in-one collection, or maybe multi-ones, you know, you know how those, like, Warner Brothers ones where it's, like, I believe ten-in-one, you know, I saw one with, like, Free Willy and another one with Yogi Bear, but, um, so, there's two specific actor collections that I got. First is the Will Ferrell collection, which has, um, Step Brothers which I heard was pretty bad. The other guys, which I heard was fantastic. And Talladega Nights, which um, I heard was even more fantastic. And all starring the lovely president business himself, Will Ferrell. And um, there's also another actor that uh, my dad really wants me to get into. 
Clint Eastwood. Um, this is uh, uh, Space Cowboys. Um, Honky Tonk Man. What kind of name is that? Um, sorry, I had something in my mouth. Um, and, and of course, his most famous films, Any Which Way We Loose and Any Which Way You Can. Um, oh, and speaking of which, there's all. Um, remember how in my um previous um one where I sh uh, my previous Christmas video where I showed off my ro the Rocky collection, the Terminator collection, the Batman sixty six um collection, full series, all episodes, um Jurassic Park collection. Well, now I could finally add Mission Impossible to the list. Sadly, this one comes with one, two, three, Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nation. It doesn't come with Fallout. That's the sad part. But hey, it's on Blu-ray, so whatever. Um, yeah, plus, I've been really wanting to watch some of these movies. Like, the first one I heard was lackluster, but I heard it was, um, uh, cult, uh, it started the cult phenomenon that is Mission Impossible. I heard, um, the second one isn't good. I heard it's the height of Tom Cruise's ego. Um, I, I didn't hear anything about the third one. Uh, I haven't really heard as much about ghost Pro i heard ghost protocol was okay and then i also heard that uh rogue nation was fine and i heard fallout was fantastic but maybe one day i'll get fallout someday who knows all right kids so um let's do the games but before we do that i'm gonna show off the figurines that i got and i got only one amiibo this year Mr. Brass Billy himself, King K. Rule. Mr. Finest Hour. Um, I got Simon and uh, Crom last year, and I only got K. Rule this year. Sad face. Oh, and speaking of Amiibo, uh, I got this. This is a um, Piranha Plant action figure. That's not exactly an Amiibo, but hey, it's an interesting thing to my collection. Um, speaking of, oh, and speaking of uh, video games, I got a new Switch case. Which is bigger, houses um, more games, and most importantly, doesn't have the slots. So, I don't care. Alright, so, you know how, um, like, uh, last year I didn't get a ton of games, but also I got a ton of movies? Well, this year, my, my pattern was, uh, the pattern is swapped. I got a lot of games and less movies. Alright, well, alright, so, um, first things first, uh... Got Team Sonic Racing, a game that I've been really wanting to try out. Um, um, because I love the All Star Racing, All Stars Racing series. Um, the first two games are fantastic, phenomenal. This one I find to be just, it's okay. It's a mindless racing game uh, with some fast paced action, and the Wisps are back for the seven thousandth time. Woohoo! Um. I also got uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. This is my first Monkey Ball game, so um, there's that. And also, I hear I heard this game sucked hard, but from what I played, where are the problems in this game? What are the problems? This game's fun, even though it's you know it's Monkey Ball and it's weird and not a nonsensical but hey it's uh it's monkey ball what else can you say about it <laughs> well, we could say a lot of stuff about uh, somebody amigo and space channel 5 but you certainly can't say as much things about um super monkey ball <laughs> um and uh okay so um i was kind of surprised about this one excuse my language but Damn you, ru Outright Games! You made me get it! You made me get the Jumanji game! Damn you, Outright Games! Oh, well. I fell into their trap, so, um, I, of course, need to, um, play this game. And I did. It's, oh, it's okay. It's one of the better Outright Games. games. Oh, also, I should probably turn on my lamp. Now you can see my face. Um, uh, okay, so, this next one, uh, uh, Super Lucky's, new Super Lucky's Tale, um, I got this as a Secret Santa gift from, uh, my aunt, um, um, so, yeah, there's that, and what I, pl from what I played, it's absolutely fantastic, I'd highly recommend that you go check it out, 
Um, shout outs to Playful Entertainment, um, who didn't send me this copy. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Trust me. Um, so, um, and here's a, now here's a game series that I've been wanting to try for so long, and I finally can, uh, the Odd World games, and I figured the next, the first game that I should probably try is the first game, Odd World Abe's Odyssey, which is, this is the new and tasty version, that was released on the Wii U back in, uh, 2013, I want to say 2013, um, and so, uh, yeah, it's released on the Switch, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm kind of, yeah, and it kind of makes me happy to see that the Odd World games are not just playstation exclusives anymore they're on other systems which is really awesome um and it's made by the lovely microid the the lovely company uh, lovely company microids which also helped out with um the port of flashback for all uh, modern consoles and also the port of i want to say no not the series name collection um and also a lot of other stuff but including this the first physical version of this um uh so next up we have a uh, Trials of Mana. You may remember um, in my 2019 Christmas video where I got the collection of mana, but I did. But I was like, "Crap! I got the collection of mana, but I want the Trials of Mana remaster." And I was able to add it to my Christmas list. And before you know it, I got it. And uh, from what I played, it is absolutely wonderful. A really well-made game, especially the voice acting is really good. The controls are super fluent kind of something you'd see in xenoblade chronicles or whatever but um then again this this is a must buy for any rpg fan like myself um all right one more game kitties this is this is what we this is what we gamers call m rated mortal kombat 11 i didn't expect to get this game this year and by the way this is the peggy version it's kind of upsetting, but hey, that's beside the point. Um, I was not expecting to get this game, but here's the story. I was talking to my mom about this game called Mortal Kombat 11 and how the DLC was, you know, Robocop and Terminator and Joker and Spawn um, and Rambo, all those lovely characters and um, everyone in the world. But uh, I didn't I didn't expect Santa to hear this Um hear me talking about the game and he's like hmm i want to get this game for free um so there's that um but that's not all so allow me to show you something else um that's the games and that's the movies and that's the figures but for, but i also have this other thing too airpods um i don't want to open it up because if i open it up it stops the recording and the thing pops up like the charging thing, whatever, uh, so, um, and also, um, another thing, you know how, um, my Let's Play channel is practically abandoned? Well, I'm probably gonna revitalize that with this. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> um, this is a capture card, technically. Well, it's not technically a capture card. Well, it's video capture so that means it's a capture card well um yeah it's, it's a capture card let's just say that and i also have an hdmi splitter as well shout outs to he-man 1010 for uh, for um providing me this wondrous gift now i could finally do let's actual let's plays on console games instead of just propping up my 3ds and playing utopia or super mario 3d land or whatever but yeah so um that's that's that folks let me know in the comments um what you what what you guys got for christmas um let's hope it's um just as cool as my stuff Freaking big stack falling out but yeah um so um that's that for now um, if you guys want more videos, I'd be glad to deliver. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm probably going to take a hiatus break. I don't know. It It's all up to me, okay? So, see you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, I got this, um, awesome, uh, awesome shirt.
it says i'm thinking it has the little logo th loading thing on there that's kind of funny um and so yeah see you guys soon sayonara peeps take care